back to my YouTube channel. Honestly, one of my favorite types of videos are probably Draw This Again videos. And not only because it's so much fun, but it's also very motivational to see your work getting better. And it's also good for the learning part, because you can see what kind of things you managed to improve throughout the time and what are the things that you still need to work on. And today, obviously, I'm gonna take up on a Draw This Again challenge and I will be redrawing my drawing from 2015 for the third time now. The last time I did it was one and a half years ago so I think this is a good time to improve a little bit and as always before those kind of videos I'm a little bit stressed because I really don't know if I managed to improve anything and I also have this inner pressure to make this drawing the best that I can so well this is what we're gonna be doing today and I'm really excited I can't wait to draw and redraw this drawing and if you guys are as excited as me then make sure you stay with me and keep on watching all right, so first of all, let me show you the drawings that I'm talking about and the drawings that I will be recreating today. So this one over here is a drawing from 2015. It was the time that I started developing my style into the direction that I was really happy with. And this is the kind of my first established style that I had. So I was pretty happy with this drawing back then and still looking at it now, it looks pretty cool. It's quite original and I really like the whole vibe of it so i'm really happy that i took this one as my base for further exploration and for recreating it so this is the first version and this over here is the version of this drawing from 2017 from around june july i don't remember exactly you can check this video in the card right here where i redrew this drawing for the first time so if you're interested in seeing the whole process then make sure you check that video and well, you can already tell that the difference is quite impressive, quite huge. A lot of things improved for the better, but still, now being 2019, I still see that there are a couple of things that needs to be better, that needs to be fixed. For example, proportions, the head is too big in comparison to the body. But since some time passed, I kind of gained some more experience, so now I see that there are some mistakes that I will try to um, improve today. So after this quick analysis, I think that I'm ready to proceed with uh, sketching of the new version. Alright, so now let me tell you a little bit about how I wanted to approach this challenge and how I decided to make the drawing better from the previous version. So, first of all, I took a little bit more time to analyze the previous drawings to see which things I didn't like and which things needed some improvement this time. So, first thing, the main thing that I didn't like about the previous drawing was the proportions. They were totally off, the head was way too big for the body, the body seemed really tiny in comparison. So this is the first thing that I decided to change. So in today's drawing I paid way more attention to make the construction lines for the body better and to see if everything has the right proportion so the body will look way more natural than in 2017 drawing. So I think the first element came out pretty cool, I'm really happy with the proportions and I wouldn't change anything for now. The second thing that I really didn't like about my previous drawing, the 2017 version, was the face. And well, it looks good, it looks nice and um, so on, but I just didn't like this kind of plastic Barbie-like feeling of it. And well, don't get me wrong, it's nothing bad about uh, this kind of features, but uh, to this drawing, I just didn't feel like it fit the concept of it. I mean, the rest of the body, the clothing was quite natural, so uh, this kind of really strong looking Barbie-like face didn't really fit the whole concept for me. So doing today's version, I decided to go for a totally different face. I switched up the features quite a bit and I wanted to make the girl look more natural, more let's say happy and uh, well giving this kind of positive and natural vibes overall so um, yeah as you can see the face is looking pretty different from the pre previous versions but I think it's for the better and I like this more natural look of the face. When it comes to the pose, I didn't change that much, honestly. I just made her uh, head in a little bit different position and the body is slightly changed when it comes to the position, of course, but uh, the general situation of the pose is uh, remained the same. 
And the last things that I decided to work on was the foldings of her clothing and uh, shading. So, well, in the 2017 version, the foldings of the clothing and the whole outfit in general is looking good for me. I mean, if you look at it at first, like first impression, it doesn't look bad, honestly. But uh, if I can uh, try to improve it, I can try to make it better, well, I will. So uh, today I decided to pay way more attention to see how the clothing is folding, how it looks on the body. I decided to, I tried to make it look more natural than the previous time. It didn't change that much, but I see some improvement and I see uh, the better understanding of how uh, clothing is working and how the foldings are working. So I'm glad that I managed to achieve that. And when it comes to the shading of the whole drawing this time I also wanted to be a little bit more mindful about that because I wanted to see where their so source of light is and uh, therefore my shadows and highlights will be more enhanced and they will be in better positions uh, in regards of the full drawing and uh, I also think that I managed to achieve that even though the drawing isn't um, lightened up in any, let's say, extraordinary way, I think that uh, whole shadow and highlights play is looking quite natural. So these are the elements that I was thinking about while doing the new drawing, but well, I don't want to spoil too much and reveal all the elements that you're gonna see uh, on the final result. So uh, I think I'm just gonna leave you for now to enjoy the rest of the speed drawing video, but I'll check with you later on.
And now you can finally see the finished drawing and honestly I really love how this one turned out and also in comparison to the previous versions I can see improvement in my new drawing and I'm really happy about that and I can only await next year to see what it's gonna bring when it comes to the art and skills improvement. Alright you guys, so that will be all for my today's video. Let me know what do you think. Did I manage to improve or well did I do worse than the last time? Definitely let me know. I'm awaiting your opinions in the comment section like always. And also if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more of these kind of redrawing videos make sure you leave thumbs up under this video and also you can subscribe to my channel because that's a huge help for me and for my channel to grow as you know. So thank you so much if you do that. Alright and that will be all for today's video. Thank you guys so so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I love you all and I can't wait to see you in my next videos. Take care guys. Bye bye. I'm just going with the gut. Never had a doubt. Felt like this is just a must. Put me in perspective. I'm the deepest in the cut. Everybody tuning in. But this is just for us now.